Welcome. Welcome to Quincy Point Congregation Church, Church School for All. Today is April 11, 2021, and we're on session eight. And we're gonna be going through John 21, one through 12. And that's gonna be the breakfast on the beach. So the, um, we just heard Sing Out With Joy for the song. So today our story comes from the Gospel of John. The disciples went back fishing after Jesus' death and resurrection. They had been fishing all night and caught nothing. But when they were told to put down their nets again, they caught 153 fish in one try. Jesus met them on the beach and, cooks, and cooked their meal for breakfast, serving them bread and fish. Wow. The Bible verses, now hurry, go tell his disciples. He's been raised from the dead. And that's Matthew 28, 7. Now Joyce is going to come and um, describe some symbols that's really important with the church and also um, read the story. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for that wonderful introduction. I, um, I'm going to indeed talk about the symbols of the church. And um, I want you to remember that we did butterflies last Sunday, which was Easter Sunday, and how the butterflies were a symbol of our Christian faith on Easter. So we made this butterfly. That's the one we made together last week. So I put it right there for you. The other thing, we um, have a symbol of the Easter egg. Remember, we had this little pamphlet that talked about the story of the Easter egg and how um, the new life, the little chicks, the little chicks that opened up inside our card, um, pro are the promise of new life that God promises each one of us as we become um, followers of him. All right, so, and that Jesus rose from the dead. Okay, so there's our eggs. That's, an, that's another symbol. Um, the other symbol is the Christ candle. See this big candle here that I'm pointing to right here? That represents the light of Christ. And on Easter, we light that candle special so we know that Jesus is the light of the world. And he came to our world to save us. And we know that from our all of those Bible verses that we learned all through Lent. Remember those? Yeah, great. Okay, the other symbol is the flowers on the altar. See the flowers on the altar? They represent the new spring bulbs, the new um, life. And you know, I don't have a spring bulb with me, but it looks like it's dead. It looks like it's dead. It's brown and there's nothing coming out of it. And you plant it in the fall and then you get new life all of the daffodils are starting to come up and they're just wonderful okay what else oh i know the last thing i wanted to share with you was the empty cross behind me um jesus is not on that cross he was put on that cross and he went there willingly for us but he's not there now he is um, sent his Holy Spirit to live within us, okay? So those are some of the symbols of our Christian faith, okay? Right? Okay. Um, and the, um, the one thing I want you to remember is we are in Easter season now. And the Easter season lasts 50 days, okay? It lasts from Easter Sunday to Pentecost, which is the end of May this year, 50 days, okay? And we'll be going through that in, a, in our lessons that come, okay? So now I'm going to read the um, Bible verse, the Bible story that we have for today, and that's John 21, um, 1 through 19. <clears throat> And it says, Jesus appears to seven disciples. <clears throat> After 
after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel <clears throat> of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach. But the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered to him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast the net, and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. I think Karen told you there was 153. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. There were so many fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. When they had gone ashore, they <clears throat> saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. Now, now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and he did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared uh, to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Peter, Je excuse me, Jesus said to P Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? Then he said to um, him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will um, stretch out your hand and someone else will fasten the belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. 
And that ends our story for this time. Interesting story about fish, about bread, about Jesus, about lambs, and about three times asking the same question. Okay. So, Karen, are you going to answer my questions if I ask you? Yes, I will. We'll okay. do it together. All right. Good. Uh, how do you think the disciples felt about not catching any fish all night? I think they were frustrated and tired and disappointed because yeah. I've been fishing before. Uh, yeah. Out in a boat yeah. and not caught anything and went home. So it's very, very frustrating. <laughs> very frustrating. Okay. All right. Um, how do you think the disciples felt when they caught so many fish? Oh, when I go out and catch a lot of fish, I am so happy <laughs> and it's fun. Okay. And you can feel them flopping and everything. Okay. Um, and all of a sudden now, they were told to put their net on the other side of the boat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that happened one other time with them, with Jesus in a story also. So they thought, hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder what's going on. Okay. Why did Peter jump into the water? Oh, because he wanted to um, be with Jesus. Yes. He just wanted to be with him because he loved him so, so much. Yeah. Yes, and remember on um, the night that Jesus went to be crucified, that, G that Peter said, I don't even know this guy, and denied Jesus. Now, you know that J Jesus loved Peter, and Peter loved Jesus. Yeah, okay. Um, what did the other disciples do? They just rowed the boat in, didn't they? And they yes. brought the brought the fish in with them. Mm -hmm. There was so many they couldn't get it into the boat, so they mm -hmm. kind of dragged the the uh, the net along with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when was the last time Jesus ate with his disciples? Hmm. At the Last Supper. Yeah, at the Last yeah. Supper. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And do you think the bread might have been a symbol of that? Remember, Jesus said, this is my body broken for you. That might be also another symbol for um, the disciples. Okay, last couple of questions. What do you think Jesus, oh, excuse me, why do you think Jesus was so persistent in his questions to Peter? You know, because he said, do you love me? And then he said, well, do you love me? And then he said, well, do you love me? Um, so I think he did. So that Jesus, um, that Jesus, to tell Jesus that he really loves him. Okay. All right. That to show him that, yes, I do love you, Peter. Mm -hmm. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you remember another time when, oh, this is, can you remember another time when Peter was asked a question three times? Yeah, when um, he denied Jesus three yeah, times. Yes, when he denied Jesus three times. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and we always know that with God, we always have forgiveness through Jesus. Absolutely, positively, without a doubt. And Peter had that. And so he was so joyous jumping into that water. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to turn this over to Karen now, and she's going to go through some leaflets with you. Okay. Hi. Thank you, Joyce. That was really um, good. Okay. I love the questions. It clarifies everything in your head. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, now I want you to get out breakfast on the beach your leaflet. And this is a fun one because you get to, I would love doing this, and I will do this, <laughs> You get to cut. You get to um, color in 153 fish. You think you can do that? Make 153 fish, <laughs> and then on the back is breakfast on the beach, and um, it's like a play. Mm -hmm. And you do it with your family. We've done that before. Right. And um, you can ask everyone in your house to come along or your friends. Right. 
And so. it tells the story again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In a different way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to get out um, what's with the sheep. That's activity 39. Okay? Ian, what you're going to do is you're going to find all the sheep that have a musical instrument and you're going to circle them. And I did that. If you look at them, like um, right here's a drum set. So I got all the all the letters and um, it is the letters I, I got is S E E M D P E E F Y and H. Okay? And that says something. It says what Jesus told Peter. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you guys can do that. Just what we went over with the questions and the story, right? Uh -huh. yes. Right. Okay. That's good. And now I want you to get out one more activity sheet. It is 38. So, and this one is for how many times did they see Jesus? Who, how many times, how many people saw Jesus when he came back? So, and they said it was 516. That's a lot of people. So, and if you take your Bible, and you go through it, you can see who they saw. So at first you read Luke 24, 10, and you don't count the same people again. Mm -hmm. Say the mm -hmm. disciples were all together in one passage, and then in the next, you just say, you don't count the same people again. So the, only the new people. Oh yeah, only the, the new, new people. people. Right. That's all right. right. Okay. So. Or the additional people, maybe that's what I should say. Correct. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. Luke 24, 10. And we go there. And it says it was Mary Magdalene, Jonah, and Mary, the mother of James, and the other woman. When. Okay. So. So how it many was did you count? Three. Okay. Three. Jonah. And then. Um, Mary, yeah, and then the other woman. Okay. Yeah. And what then, about Mary Magdalene? Yeah. Okay. So that is that four. Uh, four. Yeah. Okay. I think four. that's four. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then we go to um, John twenty. <laughs> So Luke, and then comes John 20, um, 19, and it says, um, it was still the first day of the week that evening while the disciples were behind closed doors because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities. Jesus came and stood among them. He said, peace be with you. So it was all the um, disciples, but, but Judas wasn't there. So we're saying minus Judas and minus Thomas. So it says so. It's twelve minus two is ten. Terrific. Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. So, so that's ten. And then on the road to um, Emmaus. Emmaus. Yeah. Yep. Luke twenty-four. Um, we go thirteen and eighteen. Third. Luke twenty-four. So we go to Luke twenty-four. Luke 23. Those pages stick together. Yeah, they, don't they do. They do. Yeah. Have to go back. It just takes me a minute. Yeah, that's okay. It okay. does take a little while to thumb through and find out all of the um, scriptures, mm -hmm. all of the uh, books. Mm hmm. It and does. So the first one is Matthew, then Mark, then Luke, yep. and then John. Okay. So we're in Luke 24, 18. Great. And the one named Cleopas. That's Peter. Peter replied, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who is unaware of the things that have taken place there over the last few days? So... 
So he's talking to someone. Yes. So it's him and Peter and someone else. So that makes two. Okay. Okay. And then we go behind closed door, John uh -huh. 20. So Matthew, Luke, John 20. Um, here we go. 20, 26. Well, I got 20 and then I go down and find 26. I found 26. Yeah, good. Oh. So, after eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. This okay. time, Thomas is with them. So that's one more. Yeah. Even though the doors were locked, Jesus entered and stood among them. He said, peace be with you. Mm. Then, he, then he said to Thomas, put your fingers here. Look at my hands. Put your hands into my side. No more disbelief, believe. So Thomas responded to Jesus and said, my Lord and my God. Mm. Jesus replied, do you believe because you see me? Happy are those who don't see and yet believe. Okay. So that was one, one more, more right? Thomas. Okay. And then the last one is Corinthians. Corinthians. Yep. And that's one. Fifteen six. And that's when. Fifteen six. Ian, he appeared to more than five thousand hundred brothers and sinners at one, at once. So that's when um. So was sea that fish? Sea fish. He, he was, which is Peter, mm -hmm. was, um, he was, he was giving them a um, sermon. Yes, yes. And talking about Jesus, yeah. and Jesus appeared, and there were over 500 people there. 500 people. Yeah, 500. Okay. Yeah. So, let's count out that. We had 500. Yep. We had one. We had, we had 10. Yep. And we had four. So how much how much is that? I have yeah, I have like five hundred and sixteen. That's about what they say. Five hundred and sixteen. sixteen. Yeah. Woohoo! Five hundred and sixteen, 16. people. And they said more than that, right? Yeah, more than yeah, that. Yeah. Great. So great. Well that's exciting, you. isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah. So a lot of people did see Jesus and witnesses right. him. Yes. Okay, so now it's time for Joyce to come back. Okay. Now I'm back, and we are going to do our craft. That's what it's going to look like when it's all finished. Everybody got a packet in um, the things that we brought to them, <clears throat> and you're going to take it out. There's some direct, oh, upside down. <laughs> There's some directions for you, but I am going to do it and show you how to do it. All right? And you're going to need some Elma's glue for this one. Okay? And a little plastic bag, which I did not supply, but I'm sure you have one at home, or some kind of little container. And you're going to put some glue in that little container um, of plastic. So, I didn't, don't have it in there ahead of time, but I'm going to undo this, and I'm going to put glue in there. Why am I putting glue in there? I'm putting glue in there because you're going to dip the uh, little uh, pieces of, um, these little cotton balls, and you're going to stick them on your sheep, all right? This is part of your sheep. All right, so, and you have some legs, two fuzzy sticks, and you're going to put your fuzzy sticks through, all right, one at the top and one at the bottom. All right, go through now, here we go, all right, then we can bend them later, but right now, for right now, we're going to leave them like that, because we're going to put our cotton balls in the glue and you got to be careful of this because it's a little bit messy 
So um, make sure that you have a piece of paper, all right, um, down. Um, so you, so the messy glue won't get all over the place, all right? So kind of dab it in there, and then you're going to put it on your cheap body, all right? So get more and put that on. Let me, let me get the head out here, all right? There's his head and the heart for the front. All right, so I'm going to put some more glue and we're going to put some right there and we're going to do some more over here so we can fill up this sheet with all of these pieces of cotton balls, okay? So it looks like, like our friendly sheep here. This one's an old one, but <clears throat> Yours will be nice and new and fresh, okay? So we're going to put in another cotton ball here. And I'm going to put another cotton ball over here. There is a place on here that says sheep head here, right there. That's where you're going to put your sheep head at the very end, all right? After you get all the cotton on there. Whoopsie, that one tipped over. Let's put them over here so you can see them, all right? So, and if you think you need more cotton, what you can do is you can pull your cotton balls apart if you think they're too big and you'd like to have the cotton balls a little bit smaller. So, keep dabbing up your cotton balls and then keep putting it on. That's all you do, all right? So, I'm going to stop here and you're going to finish the rest of it yourself, all right, with the cotton, with the cotton balls. All right, I put that much on. Now, I have the, the head of the um, lamb right here. I have to get my scissors out. Here we go. And I'm going to finish cutting this out. You had to cut out the um, heart as well. I have it all cut out, but you're going to cut that out also. So I'm just going to finish cutting out the lamb's head, and I'm going to put it in that space. All right, so here's going to glue it, put dab your face, the face, the bottom of the lamb's face into the glue and you're going to place it right in that spot that's nice and open for the sheep's head to go. Right there. See? Just like that. Now, when all of the cotton balls are around, you're going to bend your feet in a little bit this way and a little bit that way, whichever way you like, and the hands part will come in, and that's what's going to hold the um, heart, okay? And so we're going to take the heart. Now, on your heart, I didn't punch holes in it. So what we have to do is we have to make a little hole. So we're going to take our um, one of our pipe cleaners, and we're going to try and make a little hole, point it right through, and then point it right through in the other one, okay? All right, and now, we're going to have a little hole there, and we're going to put the arms. We'll go right through that little hole. See how I've done it on each side? Okay. Oh, I'm getting that through there. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, come on. Turn you around so I can get you in this way. Okay, so there's the other Right? So now you have your heart in the front. You have your lamb holding the heart. And it says that I am important to God. Just like Peter was important to God to feed his lambs, 
to feed his sheep, to take care of his sheep, to love his sheep. And we are considered Jesus' sheep. He's the good shepherd. So you finish up your little sheep to remind you that I'm important to God. You are important to God. Okay, so there's our new sheep. And Karen, are you going to come over and help me um, do a little song that we uh, yeah. can do together? Okay. Sure. All right, so. Sounds good. All right, so here we go. It's called Feed My Lambs. All right, okay. so here we go. We're going to, do you want to look at the camera too? So oh, they sure. can see what you're doing? Oh, All right. okay. okay. All right. I have to look at her too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, it's to peas porridge hot. Peas porridge cold. All right, so that's the, the tone, okay. tone. So it, we're going to start with um, putting our hands on our flat here. So we're going to go feed my lambs, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Ah, good. Want to try that again yeah. a little faster? Yeah. Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay, Ooh, terrific. That was, that was great. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to end now. Um, and we hope that you loved our um, music rendition of, um, of our song, Sing Out With Joy. Remember last week we did that? I hope you had fun with that. And I hope that you sing out with joy every single day and remember that Jesus loves you. Okay, so we're going to end with our prayer and we're going to say thank you God, thank, thank you God, God for your overflowing love. Amen. And we're going to say the, <clears throat> the 23rd Psalm about sheep. I know I wrote down the Lord's Prayer but I think we should do the 23rd Psalm. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay. All right. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, that was great. Um, and now we're going to do the blessing. You're going to do the palm out like we did last week, and you're going to make a cross. So you're going to draw the cross down, and you're going to say, thank you, God, for your plan. Thank, thank you, God, God, for your plan. Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves you. Thank you, God, for your plan. Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves you. I am a blessed child of God. I am a blessed child of God. Okay, super. So now, what about that American Sign Language that we did last week? You want to try that again? Sure. Do we remember that? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's Jesus, okay, lives, loves. Okay, Jesus lives, loves, and he loves me, and he loves you. All right, and you. All okay. right, that's it for Thanks. now. See you Bye. next time. Bye.